I want to go. Kate steps in as Prince William drives tractor on Durham farm visit. Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, and Prince William jumped on the tractor as they carried out engagements with a special link to their wedding day. Kate and Prince William carried out a series of engagements in County Durham, just two days before they are set to mark their 10-year wedding anniversary. And their visit had an important link to their wedding, celebrated on April 29, 2011 at Westminster Abbey. During their day in Durham, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge highlighted some of the organizations which benefited from donations from their Royal Highness's Royal Wedding Charitable Gift Fund in 2011. Among them was the key, which supports the Cheesy Waffles project helping people with additional needs aged 7 to 35 from across County Durham. For their first stop in Durham this morning, Kate and William visited a family-run farm, Manor Farm, in Little Stainton near Darlington, where first William and then Kate tried to drive a tractor. The tractor's route was GPS-operated so predetermined, but the Duke and Duchess appeared to have fun nevertheless during their attempt. Their trip on the tractor will likely make Prince George, their fierce-born, jealous. The Duke revealed his son is obsessed with tractors during a documentary focused on the Duchy of Cornwall. Speaking to farmer Mervyn Keeling he said in 2019, I should have brought George today. He would be absolutely loving this. He's obsessed. At Manor Farm, Kate and William were taken on a tour by the owners of the mixed cattle, sheep and arable farm, Claire Wise and Stuart Chapman. Kate and William heard how the farm owners are protecting the welfare of their livestock. They were also shown some of the tools used at the farm including land rotation and feed sampling in a bid to improve productivity and ensure they are able to give back to the environment and increase sustainability. Prince William was particularly keen to hear about farming as he is directly involved in farming at Anmer Hall, the Cambridge's home in Norfolk. He is also getting more and more involved with the Duchy of Cornwall, which he is set to inherit when his father becomes king. Moreover, given his well-known commitment to protect the environment through his patronages and the Earthshot Prize, the Duke of Cambridge was also keen on hearing more about sustainability and the impact the farming industry has on the ecosystem. During their engagements, Kate and William also spoke to members of the National Farmers Union about their experiences during the coronavirus pandemic. Among the issues raised were the mental health impact of COVID-19 for farmers and the challenges of balancing homeschooling with farm work. Kate and William have been fierce advocates for years of safeguarding mental health and eliminate the stigma surrounding it. During the first lockdown, they pledged to support the mental well-being of key workers as their top priority. Kate also opened up about the toll homeschooling, lockdown and added responsibilities can have on overworked parents. In 2011, Kate and Prince William chose 26 charities to benefit from donations made to their Royal Wedding Charitable Gift Fund set up to invite everyone who wanted to give them a wedding gift to make a donation instead. Buckingham Palace said in a statement published in mid-March 2011, having been touched by the goodwill shown them since the announcement of their engagement, Prince William and Miss Middleton have asked that anyone who might wish to give them a wedding gift consider giving instead to a charitable fund. Many of the charities are little known, without existing royal patronage, and undertake excellent work within specific communities. They are charities that have a particular resonance with Prince William and Miss Middleton and reflect issues in which the couple have been particularly interested in their lives to date. The organizations chosen were grouped under the following categories, changing lives through arts and sport, children fulfilling their potential, help and care at home, support for service personnel and their families, and conservation for future generations. In total, more than pound 1 million was raised by the fund, including 559,104 pounds donated by the members of the public.